Well, I've been wanting to look at these Bauer cordless tools for a while now. So I finally picked up a few of them and I wanna just talk about them for a minute. So stick around. I picked up a few of these Bauer cordless tools today and I just want to talk about it a little bit and go over what they offer and just give some of my initial impressions on these tools that I have right here. So to begin with, I guess Bauer is Harbor Freight's middle tier or maybe lowest tier cordless tools because I would imagine it would go Earthquake XT, then Hercules, and then Bauer, but they also offer some really cheap stuff like Drillmaster and whatever else they got. I don't know off the top of my head, but these tools actually look pretty good. And I've seen them for a while. And as I said, I've been wanting to check them out. Well, I've done quite a few videos on Hercules, on their drills, their impact drivers, their screw gun. I'll link some of them up top as this video goes along in case you're interested in checking them out. But I always see these right next to the Hercules and they're, they're pretty similar in price to the Hercules. Now, I've had, you know, <laughs> I've had mixed luck with the Hercules. Their drill, I'm not a big fan of, their 12 volt drill. Their 20 volt drill, I don't know, but their 12 volt impact driver is pretty nice. And their 12 volt screw gun is even pretty nice if you're interested in something that's just a screw gun like that. I personally don't have no use for something like that because if I was gonna get something like that, I would get something smaller. Like for instance, Bauer offers a four volt screw gun that's small, handheld. That would be something that I would need a screw gun for. Now, if I was hanging drywall or, or laying deck or something, then maybe I would need something like that, but I don't, I don't do that. I use my tools for different reasons, like working on cars, building tables, you know, whatnot, things like that. Very rarely do I do woodworking, which is another reason why, like I was saying before, that I was gonna switch from DeWalt to Milwaukee, because I feel like Milwaukee's more geared towards the mechanic, whereas DeWalt's more geared towards the carpenter. It just seems like that to me. You know, just just for instance, the, the wall doesn't even have a 3 8 cordless ratchet, which I don't understand because Mac Tools does have a cordless ratchet, a 12 volt cordless ratchet, quarter inch and 3 8 and you can actually use the DeWalt battery on there. So I don't understand it, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. But I've been seeing these tools next to the Hercules and they're so similar in price that I, I really didn't feel like you know, comparing them would show too much because like you can get the drill for, you know, $10, $20 more Hercules versus this, but I still was wanting to check these out. And today I seen, you see here, they have a grinder. Now Bear Tool, this thing is $39.99. So $40 for a 20 volt grinder. You have the right angle drill and this, I believe was $69.99. And you have this circular saw and this was $49.99, Bear Tool. Now, I believe that Bauer offers approximately 15 cordless tools in their cordless tool line, and they only have a 1.5 amp hour battery and a three amp hour battery. So it's not a very big line. And I mean, just judging off the two batteries that are available, I mean, you know, they don't even offer a five amp hour battery, but I wanna know what, what these tools can do. And I'm, I, I'm gonna guess and go out on a limb here and just say that, these tools are just made for somebody that likes red and black, man. You know, a homeowner or something that wants their tools to look nice, but to set up on a shelf and just to use every now and then, because these tools do look good. They feel pretty decent. They feel heavy. The black overmolding is, is nice. It looks good. And this right angle drill even has a metal chuck. The saw looks pretty nice, feels pretty nice. But let's just see, I wanna see how these things perform, but we're not gonna do that today. Today I'm just talking about what they offer and I'm gonna actually do a video for each cordless Bauer tool that I can get as I can get them. Obviously I'm not made of money, I can't just go out and buy all 15 at once, you know, but I was able to pick up, I actually borrowed this and I was able to pick up these two. So 
We're gonna check this out in a video, we're gonna check this out in a video, then we're gonna check this out in a video. And I'm gonna make all the videos as short as possible, just to try to make kind of like a series, just a Bauer series. And then maybe if that turns out good, maybe I could just start doing that with all the cordless tools. You know, obviously, once we get up to the big boys, Milwaukee, Rigid, DeWalt, I, you know, we're talking hundreds of tools and I'll obviously never have the money to buy hundreds of tools just to review. But we could do this with like Bauer, Hercules, a few DeWalt tools, Milwaukee. Obviously, I have been doing that in some cases, but I've just been doing mostly drills and quarter inch impact drivers. So I wanna kinda of expand out a little bit and I wanna do grinders, right angle drills, saws, and we're gonna do that with Milwaukee, DeWalt, Bauer, Hercules. We're gonna do that with everybody because I do believe Hercules just now came out with a 20 volt grinder as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe they did. Maybe it's been out, maybe I haven't seen it, I don't know, but I wanna check that out as well. I believe that's $99.99, so we are looking at a pretty big price difference between this and that. $39.99 for this bear tool and $99.99 for the Hercules grinder, but maybe that was with a battery. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know down in the comments if you know. Now the Hercules corded grinder is actually pretty decent. You could tell it's kind of cheaply made and I believe it's overpriced. I believe all the Hercules cordless tools are overpriced though, you know, by, by, by a bunch, you know. I think they should be priced what these are priced and we'll see, maybe these, maybe these won't perform as good as the Hercules. Maybe they'll perform better than the Hercules tools that I've used, but they do have three kits available which is a drill, a hammer drill, or a quarter inch impact driver kit. And in those kits though, it only comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery and a charger. And I believe it comes with a little red bag, if I'm not mistaken. I did see one, I didn't pick up a kit yet, but I will pick up a kit. I believe that the regular drill kit is $69.99. And this weekend they're having a parking lot sale, which they have a lot of parking lot sales and it's usually just regular sales, but I guess they try to drive people in with the name parking lot sale. And even in a lot of cases, man, you'll go to these Harbor Freights and they won't even have nothing in the parking lot. <laughs> so how is this a parking lot sale, man? And you know, there's nothing in a parking lot. I don't get it, but you know, like I said, I think they're just driving sales there. And they have the hammer drill and I believe that is $74.99 for the kit. Then they have the quarter inch impact driver, and I believe that is $69.99 for the kit. So as I said, I think there's approximately 15 tools in this line, and they have like a chainsaw, a hedge trimmer, a half inch impact, a three H impact. The half inch impact, I was actually looking at that. I think that bare tool is like $129.99. They claim 450 foot pounds of breakaway torque, which isn't very much. That's a mid torque half inch impact and $129.99 for a bare tool seems pretty expensive. Maybe it's a beast though, I don't know. But if they want people to seriously consider investing in this line, they're gonna need to offer more batteries than a 1.5 and a three amp hour battery, especially once you get into using things like this grinder and this saw. We're gonna see how long the battery lasts using them when we test them, but I'm gonna bet that a three amp hour battery will not last very long at all. And unfortunately, man, the only battery I have right now <laughs> is one three amp hour battery. So whenever I do go test these, it's gonna be a lot of using them, charging them, using them, charging them. But well, I, I'll do the best I can. Obviously you won't see that by the time I edit it and everything I do, but it's gonna be time consuming for me, which isn't a problem because you know I enjoy doing this. And at some point I will pick up a few more batteries. I'm gonna have to pick up a few more batteries if I wanna check this tool line out because you know when we get to the chainsaw, I'm curious how good a 79.99 bare tool chainsaw with a three amp hour, 20 volt battery will be, you know, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna cut some stuff up and we're gonna see if it's any good. But I'm more interested in, can I use this tool and count on this tool? And in what aspect can I use this tool? Can I use this tool to do a job around the house? If I, if I have to make this table again, 
which if you haven't seen the video of me making this table, man, I'll put it up top. I made it with using my 60 volt DeWalt grinder. I cut all this plate, I cut everything, and I use a chop saw, but I just use the chop saw to cut the rectangular tubing and the C channel. I didn't use it to cut, I made some good long cuts with this. And I used a six amp hour 60 volt battery. And I, I also have a nine amp hour 60 volt battery. And surprisingly, man, those batteries last a long time. When even grinding straight through, like I could make a long cut and cut for six, seven minutes straight using one of those cutting this, if I'm not mistaken. I actually wanted to do a video to see how long it lasts to check that whether the 60 volt is worth investing in versus the 20 volt. And a long story short that I'll tell you right now is I believe it is worth investing in. I do like the 60 volt DeWalt line. I think they're great tools. I think they're powerful tools. And they are at this time my favorite for heavy duty cordless tools such as sawzalls, weed eaters, chainsaws, grinders, things like that. DeWalt is my go-to at this point. Will that change? It could change. You know, I'm like I said in many videos, I am not loyal to any one tool brand. I'm not loyal to any one tool company. They're not loyal to me. They make tools. They want me to buy them. So if they want me to buy their tools, then they have to make tools good enough for me to want to spend my hard-earned dollars on because I trade chunks of my life to go to work to buy stuff, you know? Basically, that's what we're doing, man. We're trading pieces of our life off for some paper to go buy stuff like tools or whatever type of things you're into to make your life fun and enjoyable because that's what it's all about, man. We're all, it's all about living, loving, and having fun, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, let's get back to this here. Like I said, they also have like leaf blowers and they have new a 3 8 impact, which I just spoke of, and they claim that will do 350 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. So that's pretty impressive. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Matter of fact, that will be the next Bauer cordless tool that I purchase is that 3 8 cordless impact, and we'll check that out because I wanna know if it can do 350, and I do have a three-quarter torque wrench able to torque something down to 350, so we will find out. I do believe it goes up to 450, my torque wrench does. So we'll check that out. And 350 is a lot. That's a lot for a 3 8 impact to take off. I mean, heck, that's almost as much as their half-inch impact. Half-inch impact does 450, 350. You know, half-inch impacts are nice, and they, you do need them in a lot of cases because man, bolts get stuck as you know, and they're hard to come out, but man, you can get by with a 3 8 impact for the most part on anything you do. And they're smaller, they're lighter. So to me, I, my go-to is a 3 8 impact. At one point, I used to haul around the big old half inch impact and wear my arm out. <laughs> I'd be laying up under a car, you know, with a DeWalt half inch impact with a 60 volt battery on it this long and wear my arm out trying to get this when all I had to do was just grab my DeWalt 3 8 this big and it would have did the job. But I've got wiser in my old age. I've learned to try to work smarter, not harder. But for some reason, I used to have a bad habit of always going to half inch for everything, whether it be a ratchet, anything. But I've switched up and now I use, I go to three eighths for the most part. And as I said in another video, I also want to check out the Milwaukee 12 volt 3 8 impact. I think if that does what they claim it does, I think that could be like my new go-to go tool as far as impact wrenches go. So we'll check that out. I think that they have the kit on Amazon for 243. You get a four amp hour and a two amp hour with a bag or a hard case one, I can't remember. But 243 for that, I think is a pretty good deal. And I'll link it down below in case you're interested, man. But then at some point too, I will get the drill, the hammer drill and the uh, quarter inch impact driver. And we will check that out versus, you know, the craftsman and the, the other impact drivers and drills that I've reviewed in the past. We'll put the Bauer up against it. And 
you know, like I said, man, I don't, I don't have very high expectations for this tool line. I just think it's more meant to look good, and they did do a good job at it looking good, but we'll get a better idea once I start testing these tools. First one I'm gonna do right after this is I'm gonna make a video and, and just check this out. We're not gonna put them head to head against anything. We're just gonna run them through a few tests, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on them, and we'll just see if, if I think they're any good or not, if I think that it's, it's even necessary to put these up against anything because like this here, this 20 volt grinder, I do have a 20 volt DeWalt grinder that we will look at the difference. I don't expect this to perform as good as this, but hey, I hope I'm wrong. I hope this smokes this, but I somehow doubt it. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end this. I just wanted to give, you know, an overview of the Bauer cordless tool line and talk about, you know, some of my first impressions and some of my expectations for this cordless tool line, which as I said, I don't have very high expectations, but hey man, hopefully I'm wrong. You never know. Hopefully these are, these blow the Hercules out of the water and we can get a good deal and get some quality tools for a great price, but that remains to be seen. So if you own any of these cordless tools, if you've tried any of these cordless tools, man, leave down in the comments and let us know what your experience was with these tools. Let me know if you think they're any good, you know, let me know if there's any one of these that you're thinking about buying that you want me to check out. I'll go buy it and spend my money so you don't have to spend your money and I'll let you know if I think you should buy it or if I think you should go in a different direction. You know, I'm not gonna hold anything back and I'm always gonna be honest with you, always, because as I said before, man, I don't care about what tool brand wins. I don't care about what tool brand is best because all I want is quality and I could care less where it comes from, man. And save me some money, give me some quality. <laughs> you know, that's my motto. Anyway, man, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you know, go down and subscribe below because I'll keep doing more videos like this, including tool reviews, projects, tips, tricks, and more. And if you want to see all these Bauer cordless tools in action, man, subscribe down because I'm going to try to get all 15 of them at some point, man. So I appreciate you watching. Till next time, stay real.